Have you ever wondered when you first tuned into the classic TV series, Who's the Boss? Or maybe you have a favorite character whose antics you can't forget. We're here to dive into the world of this beloved sitcom and explore some random facts that you might not know. But before we get into that, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Who's the Boss? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover the fascinating details about this iconic show. Did you know that Who's the Boss ran from 1984 to 1992, delighting audiences with its humor and heartwarming moments? It starred Tony Danza as Tony Michelli, a retired baseball player who becomes a housekeeper, and Judith Light as his employer, Angela Bauer. The show's unique premise and endearing characters made it a household favorite for years. As we explore this TV classic, keep in mind your first viewing and your favorite character, and be sure to share your stories with us in the comments. Who's the Boss remains a timeless gem in the world of television, and it's always a delight to reminisce about it. Who's the Boss was a popular TV series in 1984. It premiered on the same night as The Cosby Show and ended on the same night as Growing Pains and Mac Jiver. It ran opposite The Golden Girls. One of the show's interesting aspects was the cozy effect. The warm cinematography, primary colors, and wardrobe, and the home setting contributed to this effect. The kitchen was adorned with copper pots, and the living room had a floral couch. The fireplace and the use of small boulders on some walls added to the welcoming feel of the place. Outdoor scenes were lit to evoke the charm of Connecticut in the fall, creating the 80 seconds who's the boss magic. Alyssa Milano, who played Samantha, found her role creatively frustrating during the eighth season and cut her long hair into a shorter style for a fresh look. This show's unique mix of warm aesthetics and interesting characters made it a hit in the 80 seconds. The TV series Who's the Boss from 1984 featured Tony Michelli who was a former baseball player for the St. Louis Cardinals. The show centered around the life of Tony Michelli and his role as a live-in housekeeper for Angela Bauer. This fact about Tony's baseball career adds an interesting dimension to the character and the series. The series also had an extensive audition process, with approximately 15 O girls trying out for the role of Samantha Michelli. The character of Samantha was a pivotal part of the show, and the rigorous audition process highlights the effort that went into selecting the right actress for the role. Notably, episode 115 was never aired during the series' original primetime run. This episode was meant to be a pilot for a new ABC series called Living Dolls. However, last-minute casting changes led to the episode being pulled from the schedule. Several months later, a second episode was filmed to serve as the pilot for Living Dolls, which eventually aired on the same night Living Dolls premiered. These facts shed light on some of the behind-the-scenes aspects of Who's the Boss, and provide a deeper understanding of the show and its history. The character Tony Michelli in the TV series Who's the Boss was ranked 23 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. This popular 1984 series revolves around Tony, a former baseball player turned housekeeper who moves in with Angela and her son. Tony's character left a lasting impression on viewers, earning him a spot in the list of iconic TV dads. This ranking reflects the impact and appeal of the show, making it a memorable part of television history. It's a testament to the enduring popularity of Who's the Boss and its beloved characters. The pilot episode of the 1984 TV series, Who's the Boss, was filmed in October 1983 but kept from ABC executives for almost a year. The producers were worried that it might be rejected if pitched as a mid-season replacement series. This delay and hesitation marked the beginning of a show that would go on to become a significant hit. Starring Katherine Hellmond, who was only 55 when the show premiered, and featuring guest appearances from Tony Danza's former Taxi co-stars Marilou Henner and Jeff Conaway, who's the boss, became a beloved series entertaining audiences for years. The TV series Who's the Boss from 1984 is known for its iconic opening sequence featuring a house located at 13 Onondaga Street, Rye, New York. This house served as the exterior setting for various scenes throughout the show's run. While many fans of the series may recognize this location, it's interesting to note that it's a real house in a real neighborhood. 
The show's use of this house in its opening credits and scenes contributed to the show's overall charm and relatability as it presented a familiar and cozy suburban setting. This fact adds a unique dimension to the series, as it showcases a tangible connection between the fictional world of the show and real life. So, next time you watch Who's the Boss? From 1984, remember that the house in the opening sequence is a real place in Rye, New York, bringing a touch of reality to this beloved sitcom. ABC originally planned to cancel the show at the end of the seventh season, but the producers were able to convince the network to renew the show for an eighth season. As part of the deal to renew the show, it was decided to base the entire eighth season around Tony and Angela finally becoming a couple. When ratings for the eighth season failed to increase, the show was canceled. The TV series Who's the Boss? from 1984 faced an interesting turn of events during its run. Initially, ABC was set to end the show after the seventh season. However, the show's producers managed to persuade the network to grant it an eighth season. In a bid to rejuvenate the series, it was decided to build the entire eighth season around the long-anticipated romantic union of the lead characters, Tony and Angela. Despite this creative twist, the show's ratings didn't see the desired improvement, leading to its eventual cancellation. This decision marked the conclusion of Who's the Boss? After eight seasons, the show had initially charmed audiences with its unique blend of humor and character dynamics, but even with a change in focus, it couldn't sustain the viewership it needed for a longer run. This aspect of the show's history sheds light on the challenges and decisions that go into managing a long-running TV series. Sometimes, even well-loved shows must adapt and experiment to stay relevant, and in the case of Who's the Boss, this effort couldn't extend its television journey. In 1984, the TV series Who's the Boss premiered. It's a show about a housekeeper named Tony Michelli who moves with his daughter into the house of advertising executive Angela Bauer to take care of her and her son. The show had an interesting twist at the end of its third season. They planned to make a spin-off show centered around the character Mona, who was Angela's mother in the show. Mona was supposed to move away to run a hotel with her brother. But the idea was dropped, and Mona returned, and Tony moved back into Angela's house in a two-part episode. The show's character Mona was originally meant to be Angela's older sister, but they couldn't find the right actress for the role, so they changed her into Angela's mother instead. The actors who played Tony and Samantha in the show, Tony Danza and Alyssa Milano, have something in common with their characters. They are both from Brooklyn in real life. That's a bit of behind-the-scenes trivia from Who's the Boss. In 1984, the show had its share of interesting developments, both in terms of its characters and the plans for spin-offs. It's a reminder that things don't always go as initially planned in the world of television. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the nostalgic corridors of the 1984 TV series, Who's the Boss? I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the remarkable connection you might have with this beloved show. Perhaps you remember sitting with your family in the cozy living room, the laughter of Tony, the warmth of Angela, the mischief of Samantha, and the endearing wisdom of Mona filling the screen. Or maybe it was your go-to show during those lazy Sunday afternoons, a comforting companion in a world where everything seemed a little simpler. Who's the Boss? was more than just a sitcom, it was a reflection of its era, an exploration of family dynamics, a testament to the power of love and friendship. It resonated with people on multiple levels, from its witty humor to the heartfelt life lessons it imparted. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, your favorite episodes, or the characters who left an indelible mark on your heart. In the realm of classic TV, everyone's perspective is unique, and we'd love to hear yours. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us, and for sharing in the magic of Who's the Boss. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your stories.